Sims have the call. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we should have an exciting matchup on our hands as we join you from historic Lambeau Field. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Simms getting set for kickoff, and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, we Welcome back, everybody. This is Nikki D, a.k.a. The Dragon Franchise. Merry Christmas to each and every one of my subscribers. I had a good Christmas. I hope you guys had some, too. Um, I'm using the San Diego Chargers in Lambeau Field. This matchup was actually probably like two weeks old, but uh, this is where I was definitely at my uh, peak of my skill level. Like, I cannot get my skill level up there, man. I mean, these EA servers, man, they just keep kicking me out. Uh, let's see how this game goes, though. So starting off, we got the grand opening kickoff. And I'm about to return this out here with Eddie Royal, who gets me some decent field position. So now I'm starting out on the offense. And I got Ryan Matthews. Just gets me a decent game. And Rivers dropping back to pass now. And I find the tight end, old reliable, Mr. Antonio Gates, bringing it down to the 30, which sets up up in a third and three situation. And we're going to keep going with this pass first offense. And we get Floyd on a nice little corner route. And picks up, you know, about 20 yards right there. So, you know, anytime we get a big play like that, it's always a good sign. First down. So now I'm going to try to roll with a screen here. And I'm using Ryan Matthews. But it doesn't matter which running back I have right now. I mean, the first few plays right now, we're mixing it up. And things are looking good. Looking good right now. Um, still, um, if anyone's wondering what playbook I am using in this game, it is the Denver playbook, which is why you'll see a lot of Brandon Oliver in the pistol formation right there. Mixing it up with the backs, you know, um, I always am very cautious about you just using one back because I feel like it's either an injury waiting to happen or, you know, some type of, uh, fumble. One of the two always happens if you're just going to stick with one running back, and I almost get picked off there on a third and seven. So now I have to settle for the field goal, you know, nothing, uh, Nothing too risky early in the game, and Novak puts us on the board. So now he's going to use Aaron Rodgers, and the first thing you're going to see right now is that uh, he gets some good running game, but look at the amount of times he just completely misses with his throws in this game. I'm telling you, I don't know what it was. He just was not having a good Aaron Rodgers day, and you'll start out with this, man. He goes long, and Nelson had us beat, but he drops it. And this is going to be the story for this kid. I mean, I, I wouldn't say he was bad, but I think he didn't mix it up very well. And you'll see he brushes a lot of his throw. And, I mean, the ground game, I don't know why he stopped it. The 0-1 traps were wide open, uh, as you saw right there. And now he always goes to play action, but he only just sets up long, and he misses right there. It's, it's like, you know, two reads he makes, and then he forces it. And you see Rodgers is depressed. Uh, and we luckily get some edge heat right there. That was a great call by a corner blitz to the side. Slot corner, obviously. It's fourth and 19. He's going to go for it. I really need to stop right here. Throws it, throws it. And of all people of the Chargers secondary, Sharice Wright. Yeah, probably the worst one. Actually makes a play for us. Good looking there, boy. Let's see that uh, replay again. You know, I'm dropping back with Wright. Eyes Aaron Rodgers. And I user it. And we get down back on offense. Phillip Rivers now trying to say, you know what? We got to put some points on the board after this. Malcolm Floyd was very reliable in that because of his height. Another first down right there. So now on a second and 10, I'll, you know, mix it up with some running now. And Ryan Matthews and get some good gains. So we now have two first downs in a row. Go with a screen, try to mix it up even more. And you know what? Look at this. That's three first downs in a row. We'll take it any day of the week, boys. Let's go. Signaling first down. Dropping back, dropping back. And almost another first down, but we'll take a nice catch by Eddie Royal out over there. Now, I see an audible here. I see the type of defense he's playing. I'm trying to just mix it up with a run to play it safe. The second and one wasn't going to risk it. Uh, again, dropping back with Phillip Rivers and almost gets sacked. Thank God we got rid of the ball in time. And second and ten, called a run play, caught him off guard a little bit. More audibles here. I'm going to get some pressure right in the face, but we dot it. Dot right to Eddie Royal, and we are in for six. And let's take a look again. Rivers drops back, and he just takes a shot. 
But Eddie Royal out of that slot position, man. San Diego Superchargers. We are up 10 to nothing. You cannot ask for anything more than that right now. So now he's going to go back. And look at these long bombs. I mean, why would you keep just doing bomb after bomb after bomb? I mean, if this was the Chargers last year, he probably would get it off because their secondary was ass. And he misses again. But uh, back to the secondary. Chargers secondary is pretty solid in this game with Barrett and Flower. So now he's going to run uh, Lacey. Breaks the tackle, but it doesn't anything it's a fourth and long situation we take our first time out of the day and he will punt it and we are going to return with Eddie Royal and great field position right there so back on offense again let's put some more points look at the fade route I'm trying it for the first time and Keenan Allen just takes advantage of the man coverage by Tremont Williams and I'll break this play down for you on the replay cam um, one on one coverage, fade route against man, open every time, zooming in on Allen, and he makes a play. That's what a playmaker does in Madden. And in real life. Don't want to, you know, just stereotypically do this shit with Madden all the time. You know, real life NFL comes into play as well. So, third and goal, we're just going to give a little fullback dive with Woodhead. Don't know why I had him in there. You know, try to throw him off guard, I guess. And now on first and 10, he hopes to put some points up on the board before that happens. It's only 12 seconds. Double covered the uh, streak route because that's all he's trying to do all game. Third and 10. Vice on the play action. But I know he's still going long. Deep, 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 deep. And I don't think we got like five guys in there, honestly. So, yeah, this kid is not making the best reads. Back to the shout outs. I'd uh, like to give a shout out to Bumble the Ostrich and Loser Lion 88. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you for answering the trivia, which was Jim Caldwell played for the Colts. Not played, but coached for the Colts. You know what I'm saying. Sorry. But, um, <clears> this <throat> drive still, it doesn't look that bad if I'm watching it right now. I mean, he's running the ball, he's getting good, but he abandons the run too much. And almost, that should have been a picked off. But Barrett couldn't get in bounds. So, on a fourth and five situation, he's going to. Probably, I was thinking, you know, a curl or something, so I play a cover two sink, and Barrett just read the play. Um, my defense hasn't been like this, but we'll see it again. Drops back, staring down that one side, and Barrett lets him go. He says, I see where you're trying to go on a crossing route, and boom, we are back in business, baby. So if we score here, oh, looks like I jinxed it because of... I didn't think he called any corner blitzes. Wasn't aware of it at all. I should have checked the defense. And we'll take another look as Peppers scoops it up for a touchdown. As Hayward comes off the blitz, and it's scooped up by Julius Peppers. And this kid makes another you know, good defensive adjustment. Rivers gets leveled. And I don't know how Keenan Allen got so wide open. If I don't notice him late, man, I think this might get picked off. Let's take another look. Keenan Allen, I was cover two, and the safety just couldn't get there over the top. I think he was shading underneath because there was no way why he should have gotten that wide open, even on a cover two. Safety should have came over the top because it was a late read. So I'm very fortunate that that was completed. Uh, bringing down Ryan Matthews, we we'll get some uh, decent field position yeah, um, at the red zone. And I'm just going to run it here. I mean, I don't. I, I would be fine, honestly, with a field goal at this point, but obviously trying to get a touchdown here. Uh, with the running game. Uh, this running game actually, uh, if any of you are not using the San Diego Chargers, I definitely recommend them as a running team, even with a passing team. They have four backs. They got Donald Brown, Ryan Matthews, Danny Woodhead, Brandon Oliver. I mean, you're loaded at the running back spot. So if you're looking for one of those guys that likes to get your running backs involved in the passing and running game, definitely try it. As you see here, again with these long bombs, but he actually hits it. So he was probably like one for five of the long bombs. And I guess this kid, you know, he's very risky, you know. He says, hey, I'll just try it long because I can't read a defense type of thing. And you know what? That's what the score indicates right now. I'm up by 10. If he actually made some reads, man, I think this game could go a lot closer than what the score indicates. Uh, not that this is a blowout or anything. This is a very close game. Uh, third and one now. And uh, you know what? The title of this is uh, Lambo Lightning. And, I mean, this fucking running game is just, I don't know if he's pass committing or what. It was just open all game. I mean, you're going to see on this drive, I mean, I'm just running uh, quick bases, 0-1 traps, inside zones, this whole drive. I wasn't even going to, like, you know, test them in the air because I don't know why this is so wide open. I mean, granted, Ryan Matthews definitely picks up the yards. And this is what I alluded to earlier. Um, you know, if 
he hit a lineman regularly, he probably would have gotten stopped. But if you rotate running backs in and out and keep a Ryan Matthews an all-star fresh, you're going to start seeing the defense get tired and he's going to take advantage of the truck. I mean, look at this. I mean, he's picking up like a two-yard gain and making it a four-yard gain. Those extra two yards, they come into play because he's such a beast. And you know what? I'm not going back to uh, you know, anything else. I'm just running base after inside zone. And, it, you know, if it's working, don't go get away from me. I think a lot of Madden players, when I see online, they try to get really, really fancy with their play calls. And Ryan Matthews right here, look at that hole, man. Nice little move to get inside. And Mr. Matthews had himself one hell of a day. Let's take another look. Rivers, uh, strong power, I think this was. Or it was inside zone. I'm not pretty sure. But... 31-14 right now, and at this point, I already know you got to shade over the top because he's going to test his defense. A nice catch there. That was that was the bad coverage. Um, he gets down to the red zone, and nothing's open here. And Rodgers, I, I don't know how he broke that tackle, but he definitely uh, made us pay on that one. And now it just comes down to an onside kick, but even if he did recover, it was still a two-possession game. We're uh, fortunate enough to recover it and the game is official so thank you guys for tuning in uh merry christmas yet again enjoy the holiday season hopefully i'll have another uh video up before new year's um trivia uh trivia for this day um i was hoping about doing a game of the week but my friend hasn't really you know been committed to doing a game with me but if you guys are interested i want you to predict who will get the number six seed the number six seed in the afc uh, Loser Lion 88 tries to defend his uh, trivia undefeated title. If you get this right, bro, man, you're a fucking genius at this shit. Um, <clears throat> I would say the one thing that made me successful in this game in particular was just not of going getting away from the run game. And, you know, I like to get a lot of play calls and I like to get a little fancy here and there. But if the running game is working, don't go away from it. And I know, you know, when you're playing Madden, you know, running the ball a lot is just really, really boring. I mean, the only time you ever want to run is, you know, when you're using a shitty quarterback. But uh, if it's not, you know, if it's not getting stopped, don't ever stop it. That is the tip of the day. I will see you guys next time for the New Year's special or some other videos. Take care. Happy holidays, everybody.